Oh, yeah, Rob K3. I'll be Rob round one. Then I'd be Gray. Then I'd be K Ice. Kyle's a good win. I'm surprised you beat Kyle and lost to Keith. Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? I was like, I'm going to go. I'm going to lose to Jason K. Yeah. Alright, now we have a. Uh, oh, this isn't what I thought it was. The scallop and the lunch meal. Yeah. The battle of the food. Yeah, this is actually a. Uh, scallop's super good in the spacing matchup. He's our only good peach, I would say. I mean, not not, not to offend any of the other peach, but he's the only one around Denver. He's the one who practices peach and does uh, yeah. peach stuff. We have Juan, but he's more. He doesn't really play. He's just TOs all the time. Uh, we have verbal. I didn't believe, he in the do from Fort Collins. Didn't he? Didn't Juan do a double peach with a scallop? And yeah, they, they. I think they got like second in PM doubles, which was insane. Yeah, they just like Juan said he just like stood in this back and yeah. down smashed and pulled turnips. <laughs> <laughs> That's the advantage of playing uh, an uncommon character here, though, man. Like scallop has all the advantage. He knows yeah. the spacing matchup inside and out, whereas not too many people know how to play against a good peach. We've definitely had like those round one peaches that have come like you know. If you're one of those watching, I'm sorry. <laughs> we don't but mean to like, offend. Yeah, yeah, we don't mean to offend. One day you'll be scallop. But there's like yeah, there's a tree. there's a hierarchy, there's a tier. We have a list. Yeah. I think in the recent times these people have or these two have played, uh lunch meat's taken a majority of the wins. But the last time I saw them play was a couple months ago, and Scallop's definitely leveled up a lot since then. Yeah. So it might look like a weird strike going to Dreamland, but Lunchmeat loves the stage. He, his room to run around, he really utilizes it more than a lot of Falcos do. I think it's, yeah, like his spacing and his zoning is so smart. Yeah, and this is going to be playing out similar to Peach, the, the matchup we saw when Scallop was playing. Uh, who did he play who was a Fox paint? Not Cyrox? Like Cyrox, yeah. Falco's going to like want to avoid... Peach's real big hits and crouch cancels. Yeah. Oh, this could Play be the big. spacing and laser game. Jumps into the dash attack. Yeah, good air dodge, though. Strong enough uh, percentage to get these kills. Yeah. Off back air's like 130. Yeah. 130 is still not that bad of a percent, so if you're going to get your kills at 130, it's fine for Falco. He'll take that uh, take that kill all day. Yeah. Dead Peach is better than a Peach down smash. Yeah, I think if, uh, like, I guess Lobo doesn't really come around anymore, but if you're a Falco and you want to learn, like, how to play neutral really well, I'd watch either Lunch Meat or Lobo. Out of Colorado, at least. Both these, both those players are just incredibly yeah, smart. That's one of the things I had a lot of trouble oh, wow. with at Lobo. Did you see that? Lunch Meat was getting in. That was so cool. like he ran off the platform and then floated back with a bagger. It looked like he uh, maneuvered around the platform. Super cool. I think I used the word super too much. I'm like, ah, oh, that's super good, super cool, super nifty. I mean, maybe you're just like <laughs> an, uh, an elementary school teacher. Yeah. Just, uh, I'm writing Ooh. a paper and it's like, what word do I use to accentuate how good this it was? This comparison super was super. Gets him with the laser. Oh, wow. Good nair out of shield. Peach is the uh, fastest move out of shield by far. Good nair. Yeah. Good back air. Not going to KO. Both these yeah. characters are reasonably high percents. And this is what Peach can do. Ooh, nice first back air, yeah. She forces that situation with the float. She can always return to stage yeah. if she's high enough. And you're forced to just like have to go after her. Wow, that was a huge. It's so hard to get conversion yeah. on Peach on a big stage. But you got at all this percentage. Yeah, he's, oh, good stuck in shine, but that's good, good back air. 90% with very little. He, that, okay, now he's got touched. Yeah. Okay. Before that, just this is a free 90% for lunch. Meat. Yeah. Good all there. he needs to do is finish off his stock, and he's sitting pretty. Yeah, that's the uh, another bad thing about Peach is besides her nair, a lot of her grounded move or a lot of her aerial moves that kill don't come out really fast. Like fair comes out super slowly, and then yeah. other than that, you have to get a kill off like either a throw or. And a, unless you catch a really strong edge guard or a stitch face, she doesn't have as fast a comeback potential as a character like Falco or yeah. Fox. She just doesn't kill you that quickly. Her punish game can be like ridiculous and hard, but wow, the time it takes to just eke out a stock is not too yeah. quick with her. Catch him with the bear. Yeah, Scallop's had a little bit of a deficit here. I'm surprised he hasn't closed his stock out sooner with the way he was playing. Um, yeah. Maybe that loss earlier rattled him a little bit. I know he looked a little sad after losing to Justin so close. Um, but I think, you know, uh, no offense to Lunch Me either, but I think a lot of people would. Uh, say that Cyrox is a much harder opponent to face, and it looks like he's just kind of getting locked down by the player here. And there's the right. yeah. So he's got two stocks now. Still not out of the way for Scallop. Uh, he did have a couple of crazy stocks against Fox, who had better, who has better recovery than Falco. So uh, getting skins. caught up by the lasers yeah. into his shield and 
definitely Let's eight just four and then painful move good 25 yeah. 20 30 percent right there just in red lines tries to get him with all these platform maneuvers yeah lunch speed spacing is so good he spaced that dash tag so just well. not taking anything on this next oh my gosh did you see him yeah, on that just platform baiting on the platform good back air Scallop's gonna have to up B. Oh, that was really smart. The actually down smash the connecting. Yeah. Up air. Scallop still has Back a chance air. here. Yeah, but he actually got. That's a really huge, big conversion. He would have wanted to get a stock, obviously, but yeah. if you're gonna drop it, that's as that's as much as you're gonna get. But he's still picking it back up. He's got the stage control. Okay, he surrenders it back. Yeah. I think this is, oh, that's what he has to do now. If he wants to command the stage control, he's gotta pull the turnips. That's. I know that's Peach's saving grace in a lot of matchups. Like the Marth matchup, super hard unless you have a turnip. Yeah. Uh, wow. Catch him with a fair. It that just is... makes him put up his shield. Yeah. I always respect Peaches who land fairs because it means you have to like see something coming or combo into it. Good back it's a really it's such such startup lag on the fair. Yeah. Gonna close out the first game to lunch. Michael Balania. Pretty long game, 4:30. Now we got a. Uh, I don't know where he'd want to go. I feel like Dreamland's just the best stage. I guess FOD, maybe. He's going to get a lot earlier kills off the side, but... Mm, yeah, I guess I like this pick. It's going to... The platform's going to allow him to get a lot of down smash stuff that he wouldn't have got before. Lunch yeah. wisely trades up tilt for it, though. And Peach will be able to camp the platforms a little bit effectively here. Yeah, okay, so this is one thing that I've noticed. Like, not to take away from Scout because he is an exceptional player. Um, but the same way that Chief Keith plays a lot with Uppy, uh, he plays a lot with down smash. And there's not too many players who know how to punish it. Um, there's, you know, our top players, obviously. Yeah, I mean, like... And Lunch has been doing a really good job of dealing with uh, down smash. I mean, the same kind of comments can be made for some of the top players in the world, like MACD. Yeah. And, like, you see, he's still a very successful player. So it's not like using something habitually is necessarily bad. It's just yeah. making sure that you make yeah. it optimal every time you do. Yeah, back you're going to take that stock. Um... 64% is not bad. Definitely would have wanted to get a little... Yeah, good fair game. That, that forwarder. Oh, good tech. The Amsa tech from uh, Lunch Me. Yeah, especially on the smaller platforms. Really hard to catch. Yeah. And then he rides then the wall. Yeah. Dare was a little too early there. Yeah, he also tried to catch him uh, going like straight up or something. Yeah, side yeah. B's into the turn. Nothing you could do about that there. Uh, so Scout brings us right back, pulling some turnips, trying to find maybe a stitch face, a bomb, a sword. Line eyes, does that do extra damage? No, it's just a 4%. Yeah, I think the only two that do, do good percents are the dot eyes and the stitch face. Yeah, dot, dot eyes, eyes does like 15 or something, and then stitch face does like 30, which is ridiculous. So, yeah, I thought it was 35. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's something crazy stronger. Like yeah. Two yeah. hits with a stitch face can kill you. Lunch meets laser game is super good. He uses it to lock you into. I said super good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, stream. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a really super word. <laughs> he uses it to lock you into shield and then just kind of gets whatever he wants to. Uh, like there, he followed up with a grab and then eventually got a stock off it. It's a textbook Falco play. And yeah. I think Scallop was almost going for the repeated up B, uh, the release, and then pull back every time to try and catch an extra hit on there, but hit the ground too early. Yeah, misses the angle. Yeah. Lunch me trying to, uh, or Scallop trying to ring this back, rather. Definitely not uh, out of his reach. Yeah. yeah, that's another really bad thing about uh, this matchup is that you can get lasered out of your float, which pretty much hinders your recovery to the point of you being super predictable. Super, super predictable. The most predictable Peach <laughs> is in her uppy. Yeah, then you have one option, which is like fast fall to uppy, and that's it. Yeah. Whereas with float, you have a lot of mix-ups. You can come down with an aerial. Uppy, you just kind of have to pray. Oh, Waveland back air off the top platform. Super. <laughs> I'm going to stop saying super. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uber. Just Uber, yeah. yeah uh, Epic. Uh, large amounts of. That was over cool. Wow, yeah. Now he's just adapting to the uh, yeah. good attacks. Scalp looking like he's getting this a little desperate, which he can't allow himself to do. And this is quarters, so there's going to be oh, no yeah. match after yeah, this. No best of three. Or no best of five. It is best of three. Yeah, so Scallop kind of looking at his tournament stock here. Yeah, Turtle and I were calling uh, and Lunch Meet the Jab Master earlier, because if you notice, like, he'll just jab, and then I'll jab four times afterwards, just to make sure that you're jabbed enough. He's dropping a lot. I think there? he's just getting flustered yeah, at the end of this, because yeah. he he caught a really a few really good hitboxes, even including a dash attack, yeah. but he immediately jumped and caught a full hop out of it. Yeah. And he up-aired above, above Lunch Meet. And I think that's just like a technical flub that happens when you're you're on that desperate last stop.